Tea time with Tron. Too Hot to Handle Season 5 on Netflix is crazy. Them people are some hornballs. Personally, I couldn't go on the show like Too Hot to Handle. I be too ready to... Hi, what's your name? What's going on, y'all? It's A.O. Trap, and I'm back. 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 I'm back. And today we got Fellini's. Now, listen. I wanted Nancy's. That's uh, Nancy's Chicago piece of something. So, I was going to get deep dish. But the way that traffic was done and I ain't got time for the dun 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 so I was like, Fellini's it is. So let me say grace. Father God, I come here today to ask you watch over this food. Please, if we're nourishment to my body, please don't let us this food properly. And I'm going pray, man, man, one more time. Amen. Every time I have Fellini's, so it's like my second, it's my second now, third time. I just think of Sierra. So I'm supposed to believe that it's Fellini's calling your phone. I'm supposed to believe that it's Fellini's calling your phone. I'm supposed to believe that they asking you if you're home. <laughs> now, future, I know you ain't had no other girl never saved their damn Fellini's. Why was that? You know, one thing about niggas, y'all go nig. Cause what? What the hell Fellini's calling you for, future? Please. Oh, oh. How big the damn thing is. <clears throat> so this is the Fellini. Damn. <laughs> this is the Fellini special. What do I got on here? Uh, sausage, pepperoni, green peppers, mushrooms. I made sure, oh, Red Onion, I made sure they didn't put no damn olives on. Here's supposed to be green olives and black olives. Mm -mm, won't get me. So I substitute those for ham. This is going to be our thumbnail. Yo, it's this boy I want to beat up. But I know I can't beat him up because I got too much going on. But I really want to beat him up. I wish I would have beat him up a bunch of years ago. Honestly, should have beat the hell out of him. Anyway, Fellini, Fellini, Fellini. Don't that look good? I know, I know. Fellini's is really good. They're really good. I can't even lie. I can't lie. But tea time we try. Now, they do use like the real oven. You know, like the ones you be seeing at like Italian restaurants. So that crust be a little too done for me. But it's not that it's burnt, by all means it's not. I just have a preference of like softer, fluffier crust. That be my only complaint. Which is not even a real complaint. Y'all like hell. Y'all heard that? Oh, oh. 
Woo. Too Hot to Handle Season 5 on Netflix is crazy. Them people are some hornballs. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Personally, I couldn't go on a show like Too Hot to Handle. I'd be too ready to... Hi, what's your name? Like... <laughs> You want me to go this whole time? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. But the, the the money being involved, there did like that really is a good incentive. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the ones that don't know, Too Hot to Handle is a show on Netflix where they take about ten singles, put them in a house, but they can't do anything sexual. Everything, they start out with a prize pot for $200,000. Everything that they do sexual, they lose money. So my question to you is, what's more important, money or sex? To me, both. <laughs> when you have a sex, you ain't got no money. <laughs> I talked with two main people that couldn't do. Hold up, that sounded bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not bad. I haven't slept with a couple people that couldn't do. Hold up, they end up the bargain. But I used the term too many. That sounded horrible. So I had to rephrase that real quick. For y'all be walking around talking about try to use a hoe. Mm -mm. But these people on there this season, they're a different type of breed. Like, we still got the same troublemakers, you know. But it, it's a little different. It's a little different. One guy, he had built a connection with this girl from day one, right? So then to spice it up, they added a new girl to the mix. And they sent him on a date with the new girl to test how strong his connection was with the girl that he was originally with. Y'all, after that one date, he left her ass. He left her and started dating the new girl. And I was like, you know what? Mainly something else. There's something else. Because how you leave the girl that you've been kicking with 24 7 the past seven days? And granted, I'm not saying like seven days is a lifetime, but when you on a remote island like that, they can't watch TV, they can't use their phones, there's no internet. It's just you and this person. That kind of expedites the process. You know what I mean? So, seven days could feel like an eternity. Hell, y'all see them people in Love is Bond be married, they be engaged just talking to somebody behind the damn wall and not even see what they look like. So, he goes, he goes on dating the new girl, right? Now, Ow, someone in my eye. <laughs> Another girl starts to express interest in him. And y'all know what he did? So she tells him that this new person that want to date him, not the second girl. This is now the third one. <clears throat> Excuse me. She tells him like, you know, I would be really upset if you slept in her bed. I want you to sleep in my bed tonight. Yada, yada, yada. So, everybody waiting on, you know, bedtime. They all go to bed at a certain time. We waiting to see what bed he's about to get in. Because her bed is right next to the, the current girl's bed. Not the first girl, the second girl. Remember, this girl number two, and that he working on number three. So, he gets in the bed with girl number two. So, we're all like, oh, my God, he's changing, he's changing. And girl number three just started crying. Like, she just boohooing in bed next to them. Y'all, this man got in a damn bed to tell girl number two 
I'll explain everything at another time. Um, but she has expressed interest in me, and I'm I'm interested in seeing where it goes. And got out her damn bed and went in the girl number three bed, and I said, Oh, oh. I would I would got eliminated. Mm hmm. I'm gonna eliminate. Cause I would have rocked him and socked him in his damn face. I promise you. Probably her too, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. Probably both of them. Yeah. But I laughed at girl number two. Because if y'all remember what I was just saying, she took him from another girl. So this be my thing. If he or she will do it to them, what the hell make you think they won't do it to you, dummy? Mm -hmm. I'm different. I'm special. He holding me like this. He looking my eyes like that. With the food all inside my mouth. Please. That's insane. This is insane. And if I was girl number one, I would have walked up to her and I would say, ah, <laughs> I told you, dumbass. So you stole my man. <laughs> and then somebody stole him from you. That's what you get. That is buffoonery. And karma worked real fast on her ass. And then there's another couple there, y'all. They have, they're troublemakers because they keep breaking the rules. They keep breaking the rules. One time they broke a rule that cost them $48,000 because they became repeat offenders. So it started to double that like their, their punishment or cost, whatever you want to call it. It doubled because they wouldn't stop. So then, the show producers gave them one final test. They put them in a honeymoon suite where it is intended for you to have sex. There's condoms in there. There's different flavor lubes. There's fruit that you can play with, whipped cream, handcuffs, all of that. So if you're a freak, 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 leak, you finna get it on up in there. So they send them in there and they tell them they cannot, you know, do anything sexual. So while they're gone, they go to the rest of the cast and they let them know, this is y'all bet. Y'all are betting on them. If y'all trust them to not break any rules and they don't, y'all will win y'all $48,000 back to the prize pot. If y'all trust them and they break one rule, Y'all lose an additional $48,000. I said, damn. 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 Overall, I did how they put their trust in them. I wouldn't have, but they did. And surprisingly, they did not break a rule. Lucky for them, though. Because what they didn't know, and the rest of the house didn't know either, was had they broke this one rule, they both were going to be eliminated by the producers. Because it showed, I mean, ultimately, this is a game. And it showed that they were not willing to play the game, or at least try to play the game. And then they put this couple to a test. They send both of them on dates with different people. Now the girl, to me, she held it together a little better. Because she was flirting with the guy, but she wasn't, she didn't go too far. Now, if it was me, 
Yeah, I would have had a problem with it. Because I don't play that. I'm real territorial. Y'all know me. But the average person, it just, they wasn't, it wasn't bad. And the dude she went on a date with, he even asked to kiss her. And she told him no. She said she wanted to, but she told him no. That right there was would have been enough for me to break up with you. You want to, go do it. Bye. You're single. I'm good on you. I'm good. I don't want to be with nobody that want to do something with somebody else. Nope. Unless, you know, it's like a, a celebrity crush or something. And I know good goddamn well that ain't never happen. That's fine. So after the date, she has to decide if she wants to stay with the person she was with. Or if she wants to try something out new with this new guy. She decides to stay. Now I was actually kind of mad because I wanted a little drama. I'm like, girl, come with the new dude. I wanted some drama. I want them to shake it up. I really did. Because the guy she's dating, he's he's an F boy who's changing for her until they send him on a separate date. Now he's on a date with a new girl. And he tried at first. He didn't try that hard, but he tried a little bit to not, you know, give into temptation or anything like that. But after a while, he just kept staring at her titties. And it was really big. And I ain't gonna lie, they was beautiful. I wouldn't do nothing with them because I'm allergic. But they was beautiful. And he ended up rubbing on her titties. And I said, oh, this is gonna get bad. Now the girlfriend had the option to end their date and swap him out with somebody else if she didn't trust him. And that's exactly what she did. She didn't trust him, which to me lets me know that your relationship is not secure. It's not. If you can't let your man go on a date or your girl go on a date on a show like this in real life, hell no, don't believe, please. But on a show like that, where you have to explore these options to find your perfect match. If you can't trust them to be on a date with somebody else and them not do anything stupid or you not think that they're going to leave you after the fact, that's not who you're supposed to be with. Y'all don't have a solid foundation. Y'all think it's crumbling. It's crumbling. It's going to fall apart. Because although she was able to control that narrative, and control how the story was going to go in that moment. When them cameras stop rolling and y'all leave this island and y'all are back in y'all real life, baby, that's not going to happen. You're not going to have that power to stop him from doing anything. You can probably call his phone, but he could lie about where he's at or he could just not answer. Like, blah, blah. I mean, luckily for her, she did stop it, though, because he was rubbing that girl's titties. And when the new person came in to swap out on the date, they were about to kiss. So, I'm sure her female intuition told her something. But what her female intuition he tells her is leave him the hell alone because he ain't no good. I don't know why they ain't telling her that. Girl, you in the date just so your man could come back to the villa. Ooh, okay. He's still a hoe. He still rubbed on her titties. Girl, it was too late for that. He ain't even know that part. No, no, I'm hanging on her. I'm once I'm done with this, I'm gonna shower and I'm turning right back on. I know damn well hit each other. I know he did. I know for a fact he did. We're gonna see though. We're gonna see. He might be trying to change. And he might have came clean. Doubt it, but it might happen. I'm poor. I'm poor. Should have got medium hell. I got the large. Anyway, y'all know what to do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, grab it right there. Bam! Hit the bell right there. Bam! So you'll be notified each every time I drop a new video. But if you're on the second day with the airdrop outside of YouTube, go into the description box, scroll down to the bottom. Brr, boom! Right there, you're gonna see my social media. 
Instagram, TikTok, Threads, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. And me, follow me. Let me come to Instagram. Let me come there. Let me come there. Do whatever. Let me know. Sorry, what's John? What's one? See what's done? See what's one? What's it? What's one? What's it? What's one? 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 What's one